There's a growing pool of evidence, to say nothing of the oil, suggesting a far more apt name for this spill, Cheney's Katrina. So why Cheney's Katrina? His former company, Halliburton, led by his former protege, CEO David Lassar, did the cementing to seal the deep water well, a process families of the dead now claim led to the fatal blowout. Halliburton confirming it finished cementing only 20 hours before the damn thing blew, just like Halliburton had just finished cementing this Australian well when it blew on August 21st of last year, causing what is now called the Montara spill, a government inquiry still underway there, but zeroing in on the cementing process. Three years after the American MMS found that 18 out of 39 offshore blowouts since 1996 have been caused by bad cementing, a 20-year Halliburton cementer who admitted screwing up in the Montara spill testified this March about his Halliburton training. Quote, have you been taught in training or otherwise become aware that problems with cementing are the number one cause of blowouts? His answer, no, I wasn't aware of that. Almost immediately after taking office, Vice President Cheney began meeting with more than 100 oil executives, compiling a wish list of things they wanted. One thing the industry did not want was mandatory acoustic switches, which can shut wells remotely when blowout preventers fail. The administration knew preventers fail because the MMS found hundreds of incidents in which they did. But it reversed a Clinton-era decision to require the, quote, essential acoustic backups, calling them too costly, and those faulty blowout preventers a fail-safe. And the MMS report downplaying the odds of a deep water spill. It was done back in 2007, signed off on by then-director Randall Luthie, a Wyoming Republican who goes back almost 30 years with Dick Cheney to 1982 when he was an intern for Dick Cheney. But this is Cheney's Katrina. And I think Cheney's rancid legacy of corrupt officials throughout this agency has, has made the agency incapable of acting properly, incapable of being independent. This is Cheney's Katrina.